Hey, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. All right, today I wanted to show you a few quick Dollar Tree DIYs that you can do to give your home a little bit of a modern look. I've done this glass piece before to recreate a CB2 look, but I wanted to change it up and do something different. So I came up with this idea. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is paint the glass piece again. So I'm gonna hit it up with this textured black spray paint from Mustoleum and let that dry. And then I'm gonna go on to the top piece, which I'm gonna be covering with the Dollar Tree cork sheet. All right, so for the Dollar Tree cork sheet, they have an adhesive back to it, but I needed to first figure out how I was gonna cover this to make it look as clean as possible. I wanted it to go around just the one time and not have too many seams. So I had to play around with it before I had found the best way to do it. And this was not the best way. The best way I figured out to do it was to kind of roll it on an angle, but you need the whole sheet. I had cut this sheet, so I had to come in with a new sheet and then that way I wouldn't have a seam and then cover the top and the bottom with a circle piece when I was done. You can, you can see here once I cut it with the whole piece, it was kind of a smoother look and then I just went in and played around with it, made sure everything was lining up. And then I also put a little bit of hot glue after I did it just to make sure that it stays stuck. But once you're done letting all of that dry, then you're done with your piece. It's super simple, super quick, super easy, and it does have a cute little modern look. And it's all for just like two, three dollars because it's from the Dollar Tree. So if you like that one, please give the video a big old thumbs up and let's get into the next one. Okay, now for the next project, I wanted to create kind of a mail type station, someplace to hang things when you came home, like your keys and your mask and different things like that. So I saw these boards at the Dollar Tree and I had many different ways I wanted to do this, but I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So I'm doing it this way. So once you get your boards and you figure out what you want to put on it to have your little hanging station, you're going to put the boards together. I was gonna go for a different look with cutting everything into an even rectangle look, but I figured to make it as simple as possible and maybe not everybody wants to cut up their boards, let's do it this way. So you will glue the boards together and just to make sure they stay together, I also glued popsicle sticks on the back, which is the part with the writing, which looks like the front now, but, um, and then kept mushing them while it kind of dried to make sure it kind of butted up together. So you will let that dry and then, you know make sure everything is nice and stuck together and then you'll just flip it and then you can paint the front of it so that it's all one solid color and um, I didn't like the seam there so I was trying to fill it in so I filled it in with wood glue but if you can find something better to fill it in that would be great. I 
I just also wanted to show you that you can take the sideboard, you can cut it in half, make side pieces, you can make shells, you can do so many different things with it to make it your own. But this is just like a simple, basic way to do it. Just don't do this. Don't don't do that. What I did there, I thought I was creating texture. No. So once everything is dry, or you can do it while you're waiting for that to dry, I took the pieces that I picked, which these some skit, some magnetic clips, and the hook that was on the bottom, and I'm just gonna spray paint those with the Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's kind of like a copper color. I also spray painted the board with this textured black spray paint, and then I did a little bit too much. And I came back in and painted it with the acrylic paint. And you can see the bristles of the brush got caught in there. You don't need to do that part, but I did. And then I also spray painted the zip ties with the hammer spray. Once you, so once you have all your pieces together, then you want to start attaching them to the board. For the bottom piece, I used the nails that the screw that came with it. You're going to want to use a shorter nail because it comes with the back, so it doesn't lay flush with the wall. I also did like a few touch-ups and covered the screws with the black paint and then i went on to drilling a hole in about four different spots i marked it where the baskets are going to hang then i came in from behind with the zip tie so the big pieces in the back came in one side of the hole at the bottom of the basket and then came over the top of the basket and back out the same hole and then closed up the zip tie. For the first basket, I misplaced the um, way I put the zip ties and didn't want to do it over. So I'm just gonna put the clip over the extra hole that I drilled. And then you can see, I also did some uh, slight distressing with the black paint over the baskets and the hooks. So with the clips, I'm just putting those on with hot glue and this is it done. Uh, and I screwed it straight to the wall. Another side note, you can also just do this with a $2 piece of MDF board from your home store and attach all the 99 cent store pieces. So if you like that one, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so you can follow along for more Dollar Tree DIYs, which I will be doing on a weekly basis. So let's get into the next one. So for this one, I only did one just to try it out, but I'm gonna spray paint this Dollar Tree coaster with my hammer Rust-Oleum spray paint. And this is how it turned out. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of detailing with some black paint around the edges and on the front and that's it and then i'm also going to hit it with a protective spray because i'm going to be using it as a coaster so again that's another quick and simple one i'm going to go back and get more coasters so that i can have a cute little stack and maybe make a coaster holder also to go along with it so that i can have a place to put them when i'm not using them So if you're still here, let's get into the next one, which is another quick and simple one to do. So for this one, I've had these pieces around for a while and I decided why not make them cute if I'm going to be using them. So it's just a candle stand and a little plastic holder that they had around last Christmas. 
They also have these kind of things in glass, which you can also use too. I'm just trying to peel away as much as the tag and then I'm just gonna hot glue the two pieces together. And of course I'm using the Gorilla Glue Sticks to make sure it has a strong grip. So once you let that dry, then you can go ahead and paint it. Uh, again, I'm using the black textured spray paint, doing the top and the bottom, and then this is how it looks. It's super quick and super simple. I decided to try to spice it up some with the confetti that they have in the Dollar Tree. So I mixed the gold and the silver, and then I just used hot glue and kind of packed it in there on it. Once I was done, I realized it was a bit too much for the other things that were on my shelves and in my workspace. So I had to pry it all off. It took a while to do that, but it did come off. But it also was a good lesson that if you change your mind about something that you do, just with a little bit of effort, you can change back the look to what you originally wanted. All right, so don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more DIY videos. And I will leave links for other Dollar Tree home decor videos down below. 